Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create the text for my Regera pack. Right, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create the really cool text effect that I did for my Regera pack. And if you didn't know, it's it's my second release to graphics pack. And if you haven't already bought it, you can buy it from my store and the link is in the description. So this is a really like quick and easy tutorial on how to do this text effect. But before we start, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so in Photoshop, just type out the text you want and uh, using the font Ammonite. Uh, in my case, I will leave it in the description, of course. Uh, we're gonna start off by going to the layer styles by double clicking on the layer. And we're gonna add a satin. Gonna make it kind of a, like a dark bluish color I'm gonna up the opacity to around 50 60 percent and then we're just gonna mess with, uh, with the distance and size uh, until we get something like this i'm just gonna dry down the opacity just a little bit then we're going to go to bevel and emboss and here i just have a simple uh, inner bevel Chisel hard, depth at 1000%, uh, size 1, and for the highlights, white, and uh, for the shadows, like a, like a dark grayish color, dark purplish gray, something like this. You can zoom in and show you. So, white on top as the highlight seems like a dark grayish color for the shadows. Then we're going to duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl and J and grab the layer below, double clicking on it and uh, remove the layer styles. Go to color overlay and here we're going to choose like a dark, dark purple, bluish color, um, whatever you want. It's going to move it down so we get this like 3D effect. You can see it if I remove the background just like this and as you can see there are some bits missing and some bits that are not connected uh, that is not really selling the 3d effect so i'm going to actually right click and rasterize type we still want the the layer styles active and then i'm just going to use the polygonal last tool and go in and fill in these bits that are missing. I use control and backspace to fill it in. And because we have the color overlay, it will automatically be the, the right color. So I'm just gonna do this uh, everywhere where I see it, see it fits. Okay, then we're done. It's quite a lengthy and boring process, but uh, it looks good when you're done. So what we're going to do next is uh, duplicate this 3D layer one more time uh, by pressing Ctrl and J. Grab the layer below, deselect color overlay and uh, choose gradient overlay instead. And we're going to switch this gradient to a, a preset I have. I can leave it in the description if you want, but it's basically uh, a cyan green to sort of like a blue purple to a pinkish purplish color and it looks really cool. I'm gonna put the angle to zero, just like this. Uh, so it's the move tool and press shift and down on our keyboard to get this like, yeah added protruding 3D effect. Um, looks really cool. I can put the background on again so you can see. Uh, looks really good. Actually, I'm going to go into the laser size again and add an inner glow as well. Uh, let's see here, I'm just gonna mess with the size and... So basically, white blending mode overlay just to get a little bit of a glow effect from the from the gradient. 
and I remember I missed something. Uh, so select at the top layer and we're going to also add an inner glow here as well. Try down the size and make the choke 100%. Gonna put the size at I think one. Just give it a little bit extra like edge I think. Then select the the layer below with the gradient. Duplicate it one more time. Select the one that is now uh, the lowest. Go into filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And we're gonna make it make some sort of like outer glow effect with the radius from 5 to 10 pixels I would say is good depending on the size yeah just like that perfect and I'm just gonna go in with the eraser tool where I feel like it's a bit too much on the side right here uh, we can select all these layers make it a group and add an adjustment layer curves Make it a clip mask. I'm just gonna drag down the shadows a little bit, but we're mainly going to drag up the the highlights so we get the more. Uh, we're gonna make it pop basically, and you can see the satin that we added on the main layer uh, looks a lot better now, and we get these like spots of highlights and shadows. But I think the layer below the 3D layer is a little bit too dark. So I'm just gonna go in and change that to like a brighter color. Just some final touches. We are going to select the group and the curves layer. Control and J and then Control and E to merge. Double click on it to go into the layer styles. And for the blending options, we go to click off uh, the green channel. So press off G here. Select the move tool and just press the arrow once, either to the right or the left. So we get this like RGB, oh, what do you call it? Like this RGB glitch effect, I guess, uh, which I think fits uh, with this kind of text effect. And then I'm also going to add a noise layer so I'm just going to add a color fill that is gray then go to filter noise add noise rasterize uh, uniform monochromatic around 7% I'm going to make this soft light and then we get some nice gradient on the text as well oh I mean noise and you can always go into to the group that we made Grab your brush tool if you want to add some extra uh, glow behind, you know, just like this. If you want to, of course. So yeah, that is basically how I created the text effect that I used for my gear pack. And it's actually quite easy and I think it looks really cool. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if this video gets uh, 250 likes, I will release the PSD for this. So you can check it out for yourself. I think it's always best to follow along with the tutorial uh, if you want to learn something. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please give this video a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!